Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back and again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring guys, you check me. And if you want to contribute, you can always contribute via the PayPal, links in the description of always and also catch me on the live to send you a super chat but it is manchester united free brentford nil manchester united they're getting their spray cans out their insect spray and their bug smasher when whenever those beats be going bzzz, we just get our spray can go bzzz. yes back in your face you bees yes we got rid of you we didn't end up in hospital needing to wound our and hospitalize our stings our stingrays our bees stings and everything no way imagine i have destroyed brentford yes you can only beat who's in front of you but imagine i getting that free place securing their position in europe you know it will be europa league football but european football is needed for eric ten hag to get the best out of these players but back to the game, Manchester United delivered because it was a Monday night, Monday night football. It was even bank holiday football. And none of the bank holiday is going to let us down. We don't want to end our bank holiday with you losing and spoiling the whole entire bank holiday weekend. Hell no. Hell no. Manchester United said, you know what? Last game of the at Old Trafford, we want to give you guys a good send-off. Although we've let you down and we've been so damn shit throughout the whole entire season. But today, we're going to give you a performance. And Manchester United today gave us a performance in the second half, more like. The first half, eh, Brentford, because they started off a bit. Well, Brentford, the way they started, I thought the first half was a bit decent. But when Brentford started, they were all over Manchester United in the first seven minutes. And then eventually, Bruno Fernandes with Antonio Langer, which who played well today, who was instrumental and who was the problem against Brentford. Crossing that ball for Bruno to finish it off to make it 1 0 for Manchester United. Half time 1 0. We're thinking, okay, we didn't get the second goal at half time. And I know Manchester United might concede a goal in the first couple of minutes of the second half. Please, God, let us just come out and do a thing against Brentford. And that's exactly what Manchester United did, guys. Come in the second half, Ronaldo with a penalty, and Ronaldo, he won that penalty. He made sure he won it. He barged off the Brentford defender and the Brentford defender can you imagine he was like no you're not gonna barge me I'm gonna barge you back oh my god it's in the penalty box I'm such an idiot that's what he did conceding the penalty the Brentford defender trying to barge Ronaldo back you know to concede a penalty we were saying to ourselves Bruno don't take this penalty hell no last time you missed you done nonsense Ronaldo take this penalty it's been a couple of weeks now you should be good mentally strong and Ronaldo was mentally strong he scored that penalty it was soos up in this place you get me because he got his first goal taken off due to offside in the first half when we made it 2-0 but he cemented it again he said nah 2-0 definitely and then came the third goal a set piece and we haven't been scoring goals from set pieces and for the third set piece this season, I think third to touch fourth, Rafael Varane, mon frère, il est là, il a marqué son premier but pour Manchester United. He scored his first goal for Manchester United. It was a scruffy one, but from a set piece, I will take that. I'm glad for Rafael Varane. Full time, 3 0 Manchester United. Second half was better than the first half. I was happy. We're all happy. We deserve three points because we've had three games of shitness of poor shit poor and everything piss pants poor i don't even know what to say man do do caca that's what we had all this time for the last three or four games but i'm glad guys i really am guys players wise today's elenga i thought he did well and i did his thing he was exceptional at times ronaldo man not a match in my opinion that which i would let you know bruno he did okay but he still lost the ball at times guys you know that and that teach a matter Class is permanent, you know. Class is permanent, but it's just a shame, damn shame form isn't, you know. But, yes. But, man of the match today, guys, for me, got to go to Cristiano Ronaldo, the man again. In his 23rd goal of the season. He ain't no problem to me. He's the man. Don't give the match, Alex Tellers. Yeah. You're, you're a donkey. Like, what he did today, him and 
Stello as well. But Tellez on his side was very vulnerable. He was getting it. Most of the problems that Brentford was having caused on Manchester United came from Tellez's side at times and also Dallow's side. Well, guys, Manchester United Holics, we're in Europe. We should be in Europe. The next two games, that's all we have left. We've endured a lot of shit this season. I'm just glad that it's almost coming to an end, you know, because, boy, I've had to do these watch longs and it's been hurting me. But it is what it is, man. We, it is. But, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor and Spice. Let me know who your, who your donkey of the match is and also who your man of the match. And what's your thoughts on the game, as always? Remember to tune in for the live watch long for the Man... I mean, sorry, the Real Madrid versus Manchester City game, Champions League, on Wednesday at 7.50. And also Manchester United game on the weekend. So make sure you tune into that for the live watch along. As always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready united. Because your boy is out. Peace.